Hi there! Welcome and welcome back to our channel. My name is Mommy G. What you're seeing are some of our Euphorbia lactea cristata. This plant is actually a mutation of Euphorbia lactea and has formed crests that eventually looks like a coral cactus. That's why it is also named as coral cactus. Euphorbia lactea is a species of spurge that is native to tropical Asia, especially India. Being a succulent, this plant loves the sun and need not be watered on a daily basis. You may water this when the soil is dry. We usually plant this in a mix of pumice in some carbonized rice hull. In other of our plants, we just plant it in garden soil with some carbonized rice hull. These are the growth of our Euphorbia lactea cristata months after they were pruned. This is what they look like before they were pruned. Usually what I do is I wait for the branches to grow a certain size before I cut it off the mother plant. And then these branches will then be propagated so as to have more coral cactus. For the specific on propagating this plant, I will put the link below so you can find more details there. So, I would like to show you what happened to the parts which we have pruned for this coral cactus. So, let's begin. After pruning the parts which were cut eventually dries up like this one so you can see there the cut parts and you can also see some growths at the sides of the parts that were cut here is a variegated coral cactus We are trying to look for other parts that we have got. I think we only did two cuts. And for this cactus, the growth is mostly crested which with some growths. There you go. That are elongated. Like the usual Euphorbia lactea. Now, let's look at this variety of our coral cactus. So, as usual, the wound has dried up and we have some growths at the sides of the wound. I think for this one, we have made only a few cuttings, maybe one or two. And as you may have observed, the growth of this plant is mostly crested with some small elongated growth at the top. What I usually do is I allow these plants to grow a bit longer. Those elongated parts before I can prune or trim it to maintain the crested structure. So that is another of our coral cactus variegated. Now, let's take a look at our green coral cactus. This one was heavily pruned. So we have a lot of cuts. And we can see here that the growth of this plant is now more crested than elongated. So those are our cut branches. 
Euphorbia lactea cristata can be planted directly in soil, like what we've done for our green variety. And it can also be grafted onto another euphorbia, which is what the coral cactus is commonly known for, like this one. If you want to know how to graft a coral cactus, I can also put the link below. So that's it. We hope that you enjoyed this video and you learned something. Feel free to share this video to your friends as well. We also invite you to subscribe to our channel for more plant videos. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we hope to see you on our next video. Bye!